guys welcome back to my channel my name is Angela if you're new here uh, welcome so much and uh, if you haven't subscribed please take a moment and just go down to the red button below this video and uh, subscribe so today's video I'm going to be giving you an update of my life in Qatar for the last one and a half years I came to this country last year May or uh, around 5th and um, so far it's been actually it's been good mostly uh, because obviously there have been some challenges here and there and if you haven't watched that video about uh, well, the, my 10 biggest challenges living in Qatar I will link it somewhere on this video and you can go and watch that then you will get to fill in the gaps otherwise uh, to, to be honest I can do another five years I like it so far because yeah I can overcome the challenges so many people keep asking me when are you coming back to Kenya when are you coming back to Kenya I don't know if that means for vacation or do you mean coming back like to Kenya <laughs> I don't know why you would want me to go back <laughs> I will answer you right now honestly I don't see myself working in Kenya anytime soon like I don't want to go through the hassle of having to think about rent and transport and uh, the huge chunk that goes into paying taxes and uh, NSSF, NHIF, all these things. I like my life just the way it is right now. And uh, the only thing I can say, if by God's grace I can get my daughter to be with me here in this country, I can do even 10 years. People have been here for 10 years, 8 years, 15 years. Some are adults just living in this country, working in this country. and. To be honest, I see myself just being here for the longest period. I am not in a hurry to go back. So there, I have answered your question. So anyway, I will just break this into uh, like a few topics. I will talk about work just uh, briefly. But maybe I will go into a broader discussion about what I do here in Qatar in another video because otherwise it will take forever. But anyway, work-wise, I have grown so much. I came as an admin assistant and then shortly afterwards I got a promotion and I became an administrator. And then a couple of months down the line again I got another promotion to another position that... Uh, it has not yet been made official, so I will not mention it here, but as, here, as I told you, work-wise have been growing. And uh, the thing that will obviously keep you in a company or maybe even in a country is if you see yourself growing and making a difference uh, in whatever you are doing. So for me, yes, my work has grown so much. It has been very dynamic. I've been doing different things from time to time which reduces the redundancy that makes you just uh, burn out when it comes to whatever you're doing. So mine, my roles have been changing so much. I, I do s a lot of things in the office where I work. And as I said, um, that's going to be on another video. And uh, when it comes to my living situation, yeah, a lot has changed. When I came to this uh, villa at first, maybe, yeah, we were eight of us and uh, it was so nice I had some really wonderful housemates who so far have maybe half of them are gone and it feels kind of lonely right now uh, like we are I think only five the capacity of the of our villa is eight we have like four rooms our capacity is eight and uh, most of the people have gone new people have come gone but I have remained a constant factor, at least in this villa, I have not changed my villa, I have not changed my room. And uh, when it comes to a living situation, again, it's just going to be another broader video because <laughs> one thing I can mention right here is that I have had four different roommates in the last, in the last one year. Like, I have been the only constant factor in my room. Uh, my roommates have been coming and going, some have been really crazy like nightmarish some have been really good that i just i felt really at a loss when they left but yeah i've gone back to being alone in the room so yeah that's just a, a discussion for another day or another video when it comes to living situation something else i really hate to cook it's just a 
chore to me it's a task preparing food for one person so <laughs> most of the time I will not cook and maybe just buy something at work yeah that's a big challenge cooking but yeah sometimes I just motivate myself and I go to the kitchen and cook yes we do have a kitchen and uh, if you haven't watched video about uh, the tour of my accommodation I will link it to, uh, I will link it also somewhere on this video you can go watch that where I showed you around the kitchen my room the living room and all that stuff okay something else I'll talk about vacation I've been home twice in the last uh, one year I get 21 days uh, paid vacation every year but I have not yet really used my full 21 days. Okay, yeah, Ram. The first time I went home was for my grandmother's funeral, and for that I did not use my 21 days of uh, leave. I got seven days compassionate leave. So that's the first time I went home, which was after just after five months being here in Qatar. The second time was this year in uh, February. It was, I think, March. My daughter's birthday was. January and I just thought to go and uh, throw a party for her because she was turning five and five is a huge milestone so I was not going to let that go by you know and celebrate it so yeah and also yeah there's a video that I did when I was home for her birthday I will also just link it somewhere on this video or maybe I will put it on one playlist and you can go and watch all of those videos that I've mentioned I'll link them in the description down below you can go and watch that and yeah so for me for my current contract i get uh, one ticket uh one ticket every two years for vacation that is going to change next year I, from next year i'll be getting a ticket every year but for now i get once every two years and uh, i'm only going to qualify for the first ticket in february in february next year so from february to up to november whichever time during that period that i want to go home and just uh, cash on that ticket not cash on that ticket but actually use the ticket i can i can utilize it between february and uh, november next year so but anyway for when it comes to just going home i'm planning to go home more next year so we usually have like very a very long holiday like this year we had eight days of eight holidays and if i wanted to go home that would have been a really wonderful time that was around june and then august there's a second eid uh, eid, al, eid al adha that we got also around six days if i wanted to go home during that period also i could have gone so the coming year i'm planning to utilize these short vacations uh, often and just go and spend more time with my family spend more time with my daughter because I cannot imagine just how much she cried and how uh, when I was coming back home from my second vacation and uh, how many times she has been like oh mommy please come back when are you coming back when are you coming back so for next year God willing I'm really planning to just utilize every opportunity that I get and be home and spend time with her yeah it just takes uh, planning if you start planning like if I start planning in January booking a ticket for June and then booking another ticket for August if I already know where the when the vacation or when the holidays will fall because sometimes what happens is that the dates might change slightly and uh, that could be a problem but uh, I, I just see I just see I'll try to book a little bit earlier and just make use of those holidays let's try and wrap up this video quickly when it comes to health I've been in good health actually as long as I stay away from chicken I came to discover that chicken really gives me crazy headaches crazy reactions bloating and uh, water retention and stuff like that so as long as I stay away from chicken from especially KFC and uh, McDonald's burger then my health is just perfect so yeah that's it about health when it comes to social life uh, just being a member of uh, the international group Doha has given me opportunities to meet different people, mingle, socialize and just go to very cool events. I've not been going to so many of them maybe because of uh, timing issues as I discussed in uh, the previous video about uh, the challenges that I face in Qatar but uh, who knows.
ask God willing um, if situation the situation the living situation changes if I uh, by any chance I get the chance to just move out of the accommodation and maybe stay on my own then uh, I'll be able to maybe just participate more on those activities when it comes to spirituality spiritual life I just try to really maintain a good close relationship with God uh, go to church every Friday and uh, just uh, pray and fast as often as I am led to yeah so guys that's it for my update on uh, one <laughs> that's it for my update for one and a half years of being in this country yes it has been leaves and uh, it's had its fair share of challenges there has been um, instances where I've been seriously depressed and even uh, to the point of just feeling like quitting but I've had people in my life who have motivated me and just given me the reason to keep on keeping on and uh, yeah guys that's it thank you so much for watching this video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it share and uh, remember to subscribe and uh, see you on the next video on the next video I'm going to be talking about my work